Hi guys, uh, this is the update to the heat bed install. Um, it's now um, connected to the solid state relay and uh, being switched on via the um, control board. Um, I did actually change um, the pin that the heat bed is controlled with. So now I use uh, pin four digital pin 4 instead of digital pin 8 which pulls on the MOSFET on the original MKS board so if I just show you so I'm now using see if I can get it to focus Come on. so I'm now using that pin on that header there which is for uh, I think for servo 2 but it's actual it's actually digital pin for um, the MOSFETs back there and that's now I've, I've kind of switched that off for now so I don't use digital pin 8 when I request the heat bed to be switched on it's all done via digital pin 4 um, that's quite simple to do for those that don't know how to do that I'm sure most people do know how to change pin configurations on these boards now but I shall go through that in a minute so uh, <clears throat> I'm actually running this at 80 degrees for a minute, so not incredibly hot. Let's try and oops, try and kill the flash so you can see that. So yeah, it's running at 80, and it's actually holding at about 80 to 82. Now I haven't actually set up the PNID. I've read online that you should switch to PNID and change some of the parameters or select some of the predefined parameters in Marlin but I thought well let's just try it for a minute um, and yeah it's okay it's working as it should do really it's it's okay um, one thing I do have noticed is uh, it's I don't know whether this is because I've got the wrong thermistor type set in yet or whether that is the real temperature it probably is because that the thermistor that is reading that temperature is the thermistor that comes in built into the heat mat and that is obviously reading the hottest temperature of all because it's insulated inside the heat mat and I've insulated it even further so there's a couple of layers of insulation one of, of like the bubble insulation and then a, a high density foam that's all been silver foil wrapped in like the sort of ducting tape, silver ducting tape, just to keep it all nice and neat. And I've put an, a thermocouple underneath just to see what the ambient temperature is underneath of this. And uh, I've stuck another thermocouple on the top just to see what the temperature on the top is. And um, yeah, underneath it's holding about 45 degrees but on the top now I've, this has been sat for about half an hour now although I'm requesting 80 and that probably is around 80 I suspect that's reasonably accurate like I say I'm not sure if that's the right thermistor setting but I suspect that's reasonably accurate but my actual temperature on the glass surface is only 67 67 and a bit and this has been sat there for like I say half an hour so it's not going to get any hotter than that really that's 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 what it's holding at so I think I need to bear that in mind <clears throat> I mean such a large aluminium plate that's six mil thick the glass is four mil thick and it's yeah so I suspect that's I've got to compensate for a surface temperature loss compared to the actual temperature that I'm requesting but I, I shall see I haven't wired the other five thermistors in yet that I've put inside the insulation that are on the heat map directly so I'll get those connected in later and see what they actually read like and, and monitor it when I'm using it but it is actually working it's holding at let's say 80 and it's been sat for half an hour and uh, yeah I mean I can hold on there for a few seconds that is around about nearly 70 degrees 
it's no hotter than that, otherwise I wouldn't even be able to touch it. But. So yeah, it's all working, it didn't go bang, and uh, the solid state relay is, is firing that on perfectly fine. Um, and I haven't in, you know, set up PNID. In fact, I'll show you. Okay, for those that have got the MKS board anyway, these are the pins I've used. Um, I don't know if I can switch the flash off. So it's that top pin there. Which is actually for servo two. Now I've got that off of um, RepRap Org Wiki MKS Gen V1.4. Now I've got the one point, sorry, that's 1.1. 1 .1. I've, I've got the 1.4 but those pinouts are still the same and this documentation on this website is exactly what you need and I've just changed my pins to I am um, uh, where is it the okay, case down here Let's see now what I've changed is which one did I change okay Usually you see there, servo pin three. This is actually in um, pins, ramps. So this file is located in your um, Marlin folder. So this is what, I, my, it's called my Marlin, my rig, V40. So I'm, I'm on version 40. So it's all the adaptations and changes I've made and. So yeah, that, it, that's in your Marlin folder. You will find a file called Pins Ramps. And if you open that up, in there you will find this text file. Um, now I'm using Sublime Text to display um, this file. It makes it a lot easier to read rather than reading, you know, trying to read it in um, a normal uh, text editor, so sublime text, it's very good. Um, okay, so yeah, what I've changed is this pin here. Now that used to be pin four, and I've changed it to an eight. And if you come down further, further, I've changed Ramps D8 pin, and I've changed that to a four. So that was eight, it's now four, and this one was four, it's now eight. So basically I've just swapped those two pins over. I'm, I'm sure you can probably select something other than putting eight up here. Um, if ever I wanted to use servo and uh, three servos and I needed the third servo, I suspect you know, you're going to have to find something different for pin 8 because you're now basically setting it to that pin. Um, but I don't use any servos at the moment and so that pin is not going to be used. So basically you change those two numbers in this um, text file, just save it, recompile and send it to your board and you're good to go really so then you've gen your board will now pull on pin 4 rather than pin 8 and you won't be pulling on that MOSFET and you can drive a solid state relay or whatever um, any type of relay I suppose the reason I've done that is because I've got my solid state relays all wired and they share a common ground and uh, they're all hidden in there and if you see that blue wire in the very bottom that's linked that's their common naught volts and obviously the MOSFET switches the naught volts and um, that's actually switching 24 volts and I didn't want to mess around with 24 volts and a switch naught volts when these are actually being driven by 5 volts and a common naught volt rail so yeah it just made sense to remove it from the MOSFET and wire it separately on one of those spare pins. So that's what I've done and uh, it's, I say it's holding around you know a couple of degrees above the target so it is drifting a little bit so maybe I will try some PNID settings but 
for now it just proves that it doesn't catch fire it it works um, how it performs in the long run is yet to be proven <coughs> so there it is installed um, yet to be leveled and um, yet to be tried but it's it's holding temperature and I shall turn it up a little bit now so let's uh, Let's go and simplify 3D. Now this is what I'm going to be trying to print. Now this is why I needed the bigger bed. This is actually an enclosure for a, a, a touch screen and an e-stop button that's going to attach to a machine. And um, yeah, it, it, it would not fit on my other build platform. I could have printed it on this side of the base, but it would have made printing that face uh, quite awkward and I, I want a good finish on that face so that needs to be on the footprint that needs to be the base that that face there and uh, yeah I mean that's the bed at th I think 300 by 300 and it only just fits on there so yeah there was no way I was gonna print that on my other bed so we shall see what that comes out like it just about fits on there, tons of room for the height because obviously that's now my build volume so I could you know, I can go twice as high if I needed to there's actually uh, footprint space I needed for this object so yeah I shall uh, <coughs> get this working properly uh, maybe tune the PNID and uh, see what it's like to print on and get back Okay guys, um, yeah, speak soon. Cheers.